Hey you all, so I got this great question a few weeks ago about using your third eye to meditate. And so you may have been on, on sort of this journey of spirituality and wanting to meditate more, but struggling to like know what you're supposed to see, what you're supposed to do when you're trying to meditate. Are you supposed to be getting visions? You know, isn't meditation about emptying and quieting your mind? Well, in my beautiful life, actually, I use meditation to receive messages from guides and angels. So you will, when you meditate, receive ideas, visions. You will even be able to remember an old memory that still has some heaviness to it and visualize love around it and visualize energy leaving that space. So if you've ever had a fight with your husband or your children and that energy is sitting in your home, you can use your gift of visualizing to invite light and clearing to remove those energies. So I use my third eye a lot in my training, in my meditation and when I train people. So yes, if um, this particular person was saying her boyfriend is ready to meditate, which is awesome, and she was asking about the third eye. What do you do to open it? What can you do to really start using it? So your third eye is right here. And it is a chakra. It is also the pineal gland is known to be like your third eye. Your third eye is connected also to the back of your brain. So you've got this energy flow from here to here. And back here is where you will start to comprehend the symbols and images you get when you are meditating or when you're having dreams. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick meditation to open up, activate, and use your third eye. And then we're going to follow through a meditation. Today is September 11th, uh, 2014, and I was guided to come up here. I've been calling on the beautiful divine energy of Mother Mary. We're going to send some beautiful healing light to everyone who's doing this meditation. I'm calling on all the angels from the sacred site to come and be with you now. And we're going to just start by allowing ourselves to be in the receiving of this healing light and this energy. So to be in the receiving, it's about just sort of setting that intention and, and feeling like you're opening yourself up. So whether you want to sort of sit back on your chair, you want to close your eyes with me, you want to begin to just be. And just sort of, sometimes to receive, we also need to let go of anything we're holding on to, right? It's a little, it's harder to receive light and receive healing if we're, if we're carrying really heavy burdens and obligations and things that we're, we're struggling with. So go ahead and just put those aside. Imagine you're putting aside all your to-do list, all your responsibilities, all your shoulds and have tos, and just let them go for right now and, and let yourself open up and just feel like as you let go it's all taken care of your list is going to get smaller and smaller you're going to surrender it to this beautiful energy that is here to help you that is here to physically literally tangibly guide you step by step okay. and you'll know when you're in a space of receiving because everything shifts. You can maybe even begin to feel the divine coming down to encircle you, to surround you. And it might travel from the top of your head to your feet and it might go deep into the earth. And you might just feel like you're finally in this beautiful vertical flow again, that it's slowly but surely taking all your energy that spreads around the world. It's calling it back and just sort of pulling it in, letting it be in your space again, pull your aura in, pull all of your beautiful sh Shakti energy back in. Yeah, and hold it in, let it go up and let it push through the top of your head and let your energy not travel up to go up and meet with a sacred energy that I'd like you to think about because in thinking about it, you're gonna actually begin to open it 
to receive it. You're opening up your crown chakra, you're opening up your psychic abilities to sort of connect and receive these energies. Yeah, and just setting your intention of going up, 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 go up way beyond your roof, way beyond the blue sky, way beyond into the ether. You're connecting and calling on a benevolent, beautiful, smooth, all loving energy. And may this light be present with you now. May it surround you, uplift you, and fill you with the crystal white light of source energy of the highest and best. May it descend and encircle your physical body, your soul body, your mental body, your emotional body. May it bring about balance and healing. May it bring about resolution and completion for you now. And may most importantly, this light give you the courage to move forward on your path so that you may see where you're going and create the reality of the ideal of where you're heading and where you're going. All right, and just ground this light into your heart. Come back in your body, ground it into, the, into your heart, ground it into your belly, ground it into your feet. Let the energy go down and be really present with it. Breathe into it. Now don't be surprised if you receive a message in the next couple minutes or even if you already have. This energy might come in through um, a vision, you might come in through a knowing, it might come in through an actual voice that's just going to tell you, um, give you a message. Whether it's, you know, let go of some heavy energy around your shoulders or let go of this cord. Whatever little idea, little nudge you get, go with it, follow through with it, open up that message. I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to listen. Mm. Yeah. May anything and everything that is no longer for your highest and best or anything that is unlike your true presence, love, who you truly are, may it be completely, completely dissolved off of you now. And we're going to do a quick clearing of your energy body in this moment, if you're willing and open to receive it. I'm scanning your body as we speak and uh, looking at your chakras and allowing all of them to be balanced and to be back in their in their center back in their truth now obviously there might be way deeper issues there that you know I I and I you and I can I and I you and I can't deal with right now but um, there is still if you want to join the 30 day chakra challenge, it's chakra bliss challenge. And I'm gonna explain in the next section why clearing your chakras or going in there is really important. Um, so, but let me finish this now, okay? I'm going over your heart chakra. I did your crown up down to the heart and uh, we're gonna go into the belly now and the lower back. So if you have any pain around that area, just know that I'm starting to work around the, that space. Mm, and your knees, okay? Knees is all about moving forward in your life. Like the hips, if it hurts, it's your professional life. There's some resistance with your profession and knees are personal life. So if you ever have knee ache, try to see as to where in your relationships in your personal life is there some resistance coming from you. Okay, and there is also, I have a, 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 I have two sets, uh, meditation albums. One is on for just for the root chakra, because it's that important. Obviously, it's 
all the abundance, all the safety, all the comfort that you know we need on planet Earth, it goes into the hips and the knees if you if you need help with that. It also helps you with goal setting and it's all with the angels of the light. Yeah, okay. So lots of energy there. So we're gonna meditate to clear that up as well. Um, But anything that's unresolved, any questions you have, can you please go ahead and let it go into the light right now? Just sort of hand it over to Archangel Michael, who is one of the highest and most powerful archangels, who is here to help all women, men, and children who are here to serve the light, to be of service to the light. So if you are calling on him to help you, know that sometimes we call on Michael when it's like the easy stuff to let go, but you also can call on him when it's like, things that you need courage to let go you know like god give me the courage to do what's in the highest and best for me what's in you know and what is for your will for me you know what is your will for me god and to sort of work through through that resistance and to ask for courage to move through it i used that one a lot recently when i just had a pack and moved back with the toddler across the world to france it is a very powerful prayer and it helps you really stay in the now and just be here now and just focus on what you need in the moment. All right, I'm so happy you've done this. You probably feel a lot lighter. So I'm gonna go sit and uh, be right back.